I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the mockernut hickory. Mockernut hickory, Caria tomentosa, is a medium to large sized deciduous tree that is a member of the Juglandaceae or walnut family. It is one of the most common hickories, especially in the Appalachian areas. Mockernut hickory is also known as white hickory and hognut hickory. Trees typically grow 65 to 100 feet tall and 24 to 36 inches in diameter. In a forested setting, trees typically have long, slender trunks with an open, narrow crown. Trees can live up to 250 years old, and they are an important wildlife tree, and the wood is moderately important for the production of tool handles, lumber, fuel wood, and smoking meats. Mockernut hickory is native to the eastern and central United States and is most abundant in the southern portion of its range. In the northern part of its range, it tends to grow on rocky hills and slopes, and in the Cumberland Mountains, it grows on dry sites or south or west facing slopes. It grows best in deep fertile soils and thus grows the largest in the lower Ohio River Basin and in Missouri and Arkansas. In Kentucky, it's widely distributed, but it is found less frequently in the inner bluegrass. Mockernut hickory is able to reproduce via seed and vegetatively. Hickories sprout prolifically from stumps after cutting or fire. Mockernut hickory is classified as shade intolerant, even though it is a relatively slow growing tree. However, it does respond well to release by opening up of the surrounding canopy. Mockernut hickory is extremely sensitive to fire because of the low insulating capacity of the bark. This hickory is deciduous with alternately arranged compound leaves. The leaves are between 9 to 14 inches long, pinnately compound like a feather, and typically have 7 to 9 leaflets that have serrated margins. The leaf rachis is stout and very pubescent, and the leaflets are green above and pale below and covered in fuzz. The fall leaf color is yellow to golden and can be quite showy. Mockernut hickory is monoecious, meaning a tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are drooping catkins, usually in groups of threes and about three to four inches long. The female flowers are small in spiked clusters of two to five at the end of the twig. Typically, the male flowers emerges before the female flowers in the spring. And hickories are known to produce a tremendous amount of pollen that is wind dispersed. The fruit is a one and a half to two inch long elliptical shaped husk that encloses a relatively small edible nut. The husk has four ribs and is relatively thick. The fruit matures in early autumn and seeds are dispersed by gravity and wildlife, particularly squirrels. Trees begin seed production around 25 years with good seed production between 40 and 125 years. Trees have good seed crops every two to three years and between 50 and 75 percent of the seeds will germinate. The bark is smooth and gray on young stems. As the tree ages and grows, the bark develops light gray interlacing ridges with dark furrows. The bark does not get shaggy or exfoliate like shell or shagbark hickory. Hickory is among the strongest and hardest woods native to the United States. The heartwood tends to be light to medium brown with a reddish hue and the sapwood is a paler yellowish brown. Boards with contrasting heartwood and sapwood create a somewhat rustic appearance that's sometimes marketed as calico hickory. It's considered to be non-durable to perishable regarding heartwood decay and also very susceptible to insect attack. The wood is commonly used for products where strength or shock resistance is important, such as tool handles, ladder rungs, and flooring. The wood of the Caria species um, is also very high in thermal energy content when burned and is used as fuel wood or wood for stoves. Additionally, hickory is used as charcoal in cooking meat with the smoke imparting additional flavor to the food. Mockernut hickory is a preferred wildlife tree for the hard mast, the nuts, and it's also a browse species and it's used as a cavity tree and is the larval host for several magnificent moths and butterflies. The nuts are eaten by squirrels, black bear, foxes, rabbits, beaver, and white-footed mice, as well as wood duck, quail, turkey, and red-bellied woodpeckers. The young foliage is browsed by deer, and the tree provides nesting and cover for a variety of birds and mammals. 
Micronut hickory is the host plant for the banded hair streak, the giant regal moth, funeral moth, and the luna moth, as well as the hickory horn devil. The national champion Micronut hickory is, as of 2021 is in Caroline County, Virginia. It's 173 inches in circumference, 140 feet tall, with an 85 foot crown spread. And currently there is no Kentucky champion. Now for a few fun facts about Micronut hickory. Micronut has the second highest heating value among the species of hickories. Micronut hickory is the preferred wood for smoking hams. The common name of Micronut comes from the large, thick-shelled fruit with very small kernels of meat inside. Another common name, white hickory, is from the light-colored wood. The scientific genus name Caria is from Greek and is the name applied to the walnut tree, and Tomentosa is from Latin, the Latin Tomentos, and means covered with densely matted woolly hairs, referring to the leaf rachis and the underside of the leaf. I'm glad you joined me to learn about one of the several hickories native to Kentucky. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the Micronut Hickory.